Yeah, yeah, it's running. I, and they'll hopefully they'll bang on the door, not bother doing the I mean, uh, we we'll, were we'll discussing the dark side of the force, and I don't know that one will load because it was 17 minutes. But other religions would probably simply call it something else, you know. Um, and uh, it's just like um, the bad side of things. Uh, some people say they don't recognise evil. Well, in the Bible it says, see no evil. Um, uh, as, a, as a sometimes not wise to see it. Um, what was it? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. The three monkeys. Um, it's best not really to brood or, or to or to try and perceive it. You know, uh, whether it exists. Well, you're talking about evil on the dark side. You're not exactly the same things. Um, I mean, evil is actually very, very complicated. Um. And neither would I let it bother you because, unless of course it's, it's a direct attack or you feel it's a direct attack on you, but quite honestly it's very rare indeed that it's directed at a, an individual group of individuals. Um, so I won't worry too much about it. It's unlikely to affect your life um, uh, other than indirectly. Uh, a direct attack I would have thought was very, very rare uh, from evil itself. Um, the dark side, well, that's sort of a part of all of us. I mean, we're partly dark matter. Um, I mentioned God. Well, as you know, there's a lot of dark matter in outer space. If you see the science programs, it's mostly... Uh, now they've mapped spa space. They've like, mapped the whole universe. And it's mostly around the edges. Um, and uh, scientists haven't co completely defined what they see or define dark matter, what they perceive it to be, what they understand dark matter to be. Uh, and there was that book, Dark Matter, that looks very interesting in a film made about from the book. Um, I haven't seen it. Um, I'd like to see the film. I have a little difficulty reading and getting into books for leisure, so I have to wait for the film to, uh, to the opportunity to see the film. Uh, somebody's always given it some thought. Uh, but it's a good understanding to think you've got some dark matter in your body. Um, because obviously we made the stardust, don't we? So some of it would have got in. Um, uh, and uh, um, that's got something to do with the dark side of the force. Um, take, for example, health. Uh, I, I think sometimes people a little bit misunderstand it. I would have thought that if you have a lot of dark matter in your body, then the approach to health would be a little bit different. Uh, I mean, you see this, people who don't seem to live what we understand to be a healthy lifestyle and yet seem in perfect health. Uh, and this is prob probably because they've got dark matter in their body, or a lot of it. Um, it's just, uh, well, I, d I do know that, I do know that. Um, I wouldn't worry too much, uh, as I said, about evil, about dark matter, dark side of force, don't worry about it, you know? That all such things are natural, you know? Uh, people sort of go bang on about Hitler being very evil. Um... And that singled out as being particularly evil. Well, quite honestly, I would I mean, think people used to say that things like that about Tiller the Hun and Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan back in history. Uh, I wouldn't have thought one person was more particularly evil than another person. Or well, obviously, we're talking now about sort of dictators and evil warlords. Um, uh, I mean, uh, I can't see why he really was any different to. Uh, he was particularly successful, wasn't he, because he created a war on a worldwide scale. However, a lot of people call it the World War, but if you think about it, it was called the World War, but only part of the world was at war. 
but quite a few countries never really entered into it. But he had most countries in the world at war. Um, well, he was just a particularly successful, basically, evil warlord. Because he managed to uh, put so many countries into war. But he never really managed with everyone. There was quite a few people who... I mean, my grandma, you know, she, she, she had nothing to do with the war when she was in Britain. She lived on a farm and uh, didn't really notice it, really. <laughs> um, uh, quite a few people were like that. Not everyone was involved. Uh, I mean, a lot of people look fondly back on the war years. Maybe they didn't. Weren't too badly touched by the war. Obviously, some people very badly were. Um, and then the First World War, a lot of people called it the Great War. And so it was even worse. And then there was really one particular culprit. Um, I mean, we must be thankful for the fact that the world is not at war. I mean, we, we're thinking of economic depression now. Yeah? And that's quite bad. But it would be much worse if the, we were at war. Uh, or our country was at war. Um, and uh, there are countries where there are. We see a lot of uh, wars occurring in the um, Middle East. Uh, and we are concerned for them. Uh, the Muslims, um, they are very, very religious. Uh, if you're born a Muslim, they are all practice their religion. They're all very passionate about it. And a lot of people blame the Muslim religion itself for the troubles. Well, no, no, the Muslim religion has been around for donkeys, yes. Uh, and there's been great times of peace and prosperity in the Arab world. And and they've been just as, as fervently Muslim as they are now. No, it can't be the Muslim religion itself. No, it would be just a bad time for them, you know. And and it's like anyone, you go for a bad time, you try and help, you know. And you think, what can I do to help with the war? Probably not all that much. It's a long way away, and there's people involved, and you sit on TV, probably not much you can do to help people. Um, and I think when it comes to helping people, the first thing to consider, whether whoever it may be, is uh, most people best left to their own devices. You know, from my my opinion and my experience, most people left to their own devices. What you do have the power to do is not to hurt anyone, if you possibly can, and that is much more in your power, and probably much more worth focusing on than to help somebody who who is in need. Um, it's not worth feeling guilty about it, you know. You know, they put on these things about, uh, about African children starving. Um, so it's certainly very good uh, uh, if you can give them some money. Um, but I won't worry too much, you know. It, it can't be helped, you know. There will always be people with problems in the world. Um, and my mum, you know, sort of her heart aches a bit when she sees that kind of thing. Uh, and I tell her, you know, you can only do so much to help. Um, she's helping with Mowgli, and, uh, you know, we're not really in a position to give to charity. Um, and I think people can only do their best, though, you know. As I said, what you do have in your power, a little more so, and more importantly so, is the power not to hurt people. You know, and that's every living thing. You know, you, every living thing... They all have feelings. Everything that's alive has feelings. And you have the power not to hurt them if you possibly can, you know. And that, that is probably where you most need to think think about, focus, you know. Because it's very easy to hurt a living thing. Look at last night, you know. You know, when I was sobbing, oh, I might look like a victim. No, I'd had a real go, you know. I'd hurt Bill. And he was already hurt, but, you know. So, as I said, it's very easy to, to hurt people. And, uh... <sighs> That's probably where you need to, to think most. No, I must not hurt that person. And Bill says sometimes you hurt more the people you love. I mean, you must try very hard not to. I mean, I said Bill gets into a lot of fights and has done, all right? Well, maybe there's a time when you should hurt someone, okay? And whether it be their feelings or to, to get respect or to defend yourself. Uh, and Bill would argue if he's really pissed off, then they've just got to defend themselves. So, I mean, if an insect comes in the window and seems in trouble, do you rescue it? Um, I don't think insects feel a huge amount of pain like we do. I think insects feel the least. 
I think it's our fish after that. Animals after that, and then that's to, it's to do with the nervous system, how sensitive it is. Yes. 